A learning style is your preferred way of getting information into your brain and retrieving it later on. In this video, we're going to explore two different kinds of learning styles assessments. For more information on either of these, please visit our website. A learning style preference can form from past experiences, past choices, past learning, and past subject interests, as well as other things such as previous skills. A learning style develops because of a self-reinforcing pattern. The more you use a style, the more comfortable you become with it, and the easier it is for you to implement it. So when a new learning situation occurs, you are more likely to employ that study method that is drawn from that preferred learning style, sometimes to the exclusion of other styles. But learning style is not learning ability. It is not your IQ or aptitude for a subject. There is no barrier to you learning or using another style, just that by habit, you don't use it. Not all learning styles are equally effective in all disciplines. This is not a surprise. How you study for English is different than how you study for calculus. However, the most successful students are those who are flexible, they assess their course, they assess the material, and what they are learning, and change their learning style as appropriate. This means sometimes going against your learning preferences and developing skills in different learning style techniques. One of the advantages of knowing your learning style is to know about the other ways of learning. With that in mind, let's explore two different learning style assessments. Kolb's model is a series of 12 questions that focus on four dimensions of learning preferences. These four learning preferences are accommodating, diverging, assimilating, and converging. Accommodators tend to be people-oriented, they rely on gut feeling more than logical analysis, and they prefer hands-on. Divergers prefer to learn by observing, brainstorming, and gathering information. Assimilators prefer to learn by putting information into concise, logical order. Convergers prefer to learn by solving problems and doing technical tasks. They are often good at finding a practical use for ideas and theories. Often you can just look at this list and select which learning style you think you are. If you need more information or would like a formal assessment, please visit our website. The second learning styles assessment tool we're going to explore is learning styles analysis. The learning style analysis model evaluates 49 elements and assesses auditory, visual, or kinesthetic factors in learning, as well as other characteristics of your learning style preferences. Each style has advantages. The verbal style is particularly good at looking at detail. If you talk yourself through problems, like to check facts and figures, your preference is probably verbal. The challenge for a highly verbal thinker is to pay attention to the big picture, the patterns and multidimensional parts of learning, how things interrelate. The strength of the visual style is looking at the big picture. Most people who think visually like to conceptualize a problem, imagining themselves inside it and seeing what happens. They like to draw diagrams or explanations or charts to help them understand the process. This lends itself to creative projects such as art and design, music, sports, and engineering, where thinking three-dimensionally is an advantage. Visual thinking strengths come from being able to see everything at once, examining things holistically. The challenge for visual thinkers is to pay attention to the detail and analytical sequencing. The kinesthetic style is good at real-world application. Kinesthetic learners like to learn by doing. If you prefer working in small groups or building models of things in order to understand them, you are probably kinesthetic. If you like to write everything down and take extensive notes, you may also be a kinesthetic learner. Learning happens best when you use all of these styles. The more ways that you learn the material, the stronger the memory trace, the easier it is to retrieve later on, and the more flexible you're learning. You may also use learning styles to adapt to different material. You may learn some things visually because the nature of that material is inherently visual, and others verbally because the nature of that idea is verbal. There is no correct or incorrect style in any given situation, but using a variety of styles will be better than staying only with your strongest preference. For more information on learning styles, please visit our website.